Hey guys, welcome to the Charcoal King. Hey, today, I think we got a fun twist on a really great classic, the Monte Cristo. But we're gonna do it like an Italian style. You're gonna have to stay tuned to watch this one because I'm telling you, All right, guys, so we're going over the list of ideas. The Monte Crisco is, Chris, if I say Crisco, just go with it. It's Cristo, I know it, and it does not roll off the tongue as easy as I think it should. The point is, I'm always about doing something just here. You know, it's normal, right? So how to make the best Monte Cristo. So I started looking around, I'm like, nothing just really just like grab my attention. So then I started playing on the words, the Monte Cristo. What if we do this? What if we do that? How, how would we do this? And I think I've got one for you. I got a lot of ingredients, but it's super easy to make. So let's see the idea come to, coming into intuition. Fruition. Fruition. That's another word too. <laughs> That's that American dictionary. You guys stay with me. I just got some marinara warming up on the stove top. Nothing to do with it. So the Monte Cristo is basically, in a nutshell, a French toast batter with bread, like a Gruyere cheese, any type of cheese really that can go on it, and some good ham. And you make the French toast, you pile on the, um, the cheese and the ham, and you grill it together. Now, some people even go as far as deep frying it. Then they'll tap it with some powdered sugar, and they wanna serve this dish with like a side of jam, whether it be raspberry, blueberry, blackberry. It's almost like a, like a brunch specialty. So in my mind, I'm thinking, how can we replace the jam? How can we replace all the meat and the bread? So let's just mash it all up. And so today is the Italian Monte Cristo. First, instead of the jam, we're doing marinara. Two, instead of just like a traditional white bread or something like that, we're going with like an herb focaccia. All right, bear with me now. Instead of just ham, we're going to pile it high with ham. But then we got the, the trio. We've got salami, copa, and prosciutto. We're going to layer that on thick. Then we're going to take that egg batter after it's dredged and put it into a Parmesan cheese crust and put that on the flat top. And then instead of that powdered sugar, I'm telling you, I went all out for this bad boy. So let's get started. All right, first things first. Traditional... Uh, what do you call it? Monte Crisco. Cristo. Cristo. That one too. Maybe mine's called a Monte Crisco and the rest of them are called Monte Cristos since I've got a twist on mine. I'm just going to do three eggs and we're going to go about a half a cup of half and half, okay? Let's get this mixed up. And for the girls, I'm going to make them a traditional Monte Cristo without some of the ingredients that go in. I'm not going to add vanilla or nutmeg or cinnamon or anything like that to the French toast batter. All right, guys, now listen, it's super windy outside, so if the volume quality is not up to par, don't blame me, it's Mother Nature. Last week of April, and it's about seven degrees outside, and everything about me is shrunken today, so. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to the basics. You guys just saw the original. That's kind of almost like about as basic as you can get for a Monte Cristo. So let's look what I'm doing. All right, first things first. Got this beautiful rosemary focaccia. I'm going to score it right down there. I'm going to cut it right in half. You guys see all these holes 
inside this focaccia. Makes it really absorbent. Oh yeah, look at there. Look at all them holes. Now that's gonna be nothing but just mm, goodness. All right, so the first thing's first. We're gonna do a mix of mozzarella cheese and this fondue cheese. This fondue cheese has got that Gruyere that's so famous for like melting. So we're gonna put one base layer of that down. Now don't be shy on your cheese. One good base layer. Okay. All right. Coming here with some of this beautiful. I got honey ham. Black Forest ham is really traditional. I just thought the sweetness might help offset the um, the fattiness of the uh, Italian meats and imported meats and stuff like that. Let's build this sucker. All right, guys, now you see that bad boy is mounded with meat. I wouldn't have a sandwich any other way. All right, now we're gonna come back with some mozzarella, just because I think it ties into the theme. Obviously, you can still go with Gruyere, Fontina. Woo! Mm. How's it go? Like this. So, all right. Here we go. Flavor upon flavor upon flavor. Take this grated Parmesan cheese. Of course, I got the one that's got Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago. Nice little bed down. Dip this stuff in the egg wash. Let some of those crevices and stuff absorb that moisture. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. While that's sitting there, let's get a good douse of butter down for the first one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I might put just a hair more. There we go, you ready? Mm -hmm. All in that beautiful butter. All right, one down. Let's get this other one done. All right, guys, I get asked all the time, what kind of accessories would you get with a flat top? Would you get this? What about a grill press? What about this? What about that? Old sheet tray, right on top. We'll just put the weight of that on there and that's good for me right there. Look at there. Check on our girls. I don't know if you can ask for anything better. 
Ooh, nice grilled cheese with that French toast bread. Mmm. Let's, um, let's cut that. There's the wind. All right, let's check these bad boys out. Let's see what we got here. Now, obviously, since it's on there, you want to be careful. Let's clear the space out. I don't know if I mentioned in the video, but I have just two burners on medium. Feels good. <laughs> now that is what I'm talking about. Parmesan cheese crusted focaccia bread with all types of Italian meats, mozzarella cheese, fontina cheese with a marinara dipping sauce. Oh, get you some. I'll be open all day. With my little trusty press. All right, guys. Oh, you know, I want you to look. All that Parmesan cheese crust with all those oils, butter, rosemary, all the herbs that they put on there. Listen, listen. Who needs the deep fry when you can get the same effect? All right. So although both sides are done, in my opinion, we're still going to keep it on the heat. And the point is it allows the heat to act like an oven. And so now what we're trying to do is really, really, really see, I've got those edges around this sheet pan. Allow that heat to get inside and now it's convection. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to melt that cheese all the way through. That bread was super thick. And so now it's just gonna help a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my eyes. All right guys, well I take these off the grill, I just reheated them a little bit cause it did take a little long to get that penetration all the way through to make sure that our cheese is hot and melted. I do wanna ask this, for the people that follow me, for the people that subscribe, for the people that have trusted me as their uh, uh, editor-in-chief their content creator we're having a, a back and log a Is back and log a back and log like a back and forth that's what i meant to say yeah 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 i don't know where that came from the point was is what would you rather see my heart is in the grill there's nothing else better i like to do than open that grill and no matter what it is i put it on the grill but you guys are telling me the flat top because i can tell by the views so for the people 10, 15, 20 people that's followed me from day one. I am the charcoal king. My heart bleeds grill. But it also bleeds this because this brings back so many memories from the Navy. So many memories of my friends, of the stuff we've done, the last, you name it. The point is, what do you guys want to see? What is it that you guys want to see? Because that's what we want to create. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my heart is singing. I don't know what it's singing, but it's singing. Mm. God, can you look? Just come down here and smell this vision. Oh, listen. I'm going to do a video of how to clean your griddle. But let me tell you this. The most important thing you can positively do about your griddle before you even clean it is clean as you go. If you clean as you go and learn a couple simple steps I'm going to teach you in the future, Foolproof. Absolute foolproof. Alright, here we go. Let's see, this is my oldest dollars. Should be pretty simple. See that? This is my youngest daughter's. She loves just a traditional grilled cheese. Remember now, this is oh golly. This is dipped in that French toast batter. Okay. But this is what we've been waiting for right here. This is where all the money's at. I don't even know how to cut it. Oh, we forgot one thing. With the traditional Monte Cristo, what do you do? Cristo. You sprinkle it with powdered sugar. And today, we get to sprinkle it with Parmesan. Oh, oh wait. We'll do it afterwards. Just kidding. 
Mm. Mm. <laughs> look at all that melted cheese. Oh, that warm meat. You can look at all the grease running out from that meat. Mm. That little Parmesan cheese dusting, like they do with the French toast. sure <clears throat> all right i've waited long enough now instead of dripping it over that dripping that jelly over top of it with that powdered sugar we got that warm marinara sauce Okay, quick, I'm ready to eat. Oh. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound that notification button. Remember, comment below. Tell me what you want to see. And we're going to keep making the best things possible. Share it with your friends. And take another bite.